the DOD has an appetite for 5G. The headline is, there's not one use case across enterprise or consumer that the DOD doesn't want. A military base is not unlike a small city. People live, eat, sleep, play, drive. And so you can imagine the same benefits that 5G have a lot of value to our men and women in uniform, their civilian counterparts, and their families. When you think of Department of Defense or military, you think of a lot of things painted in green with camouflage, rugged eyes can be dropped from a plane. And while certainly that's true, what you also have to keep in mind is network cohesion, which is the idea that by integrating systems and other networks together, you can have a seamless experience across any connected domain, whether that's land, air, space, sea, cyberspace. What we're talking about today has three main pillars to it. Network interoperability, that you could have two completely separate networks supporting a singular data feed providing, say, situational awareness or a video feed to a central command center. The other pillar is network handoff, the idea that a connected device could be in one network coverage area and move to a second without having an interruption or a degradation in signal or video quality as that video feed is being transmitted over the network. And the third pillar to what we're showing here today is a way to monitor that data transmission, to see where that data is going through the network back to that central command center, whether that's through a Verizon private network or someone else's private network that we are managing. 